Uh, yeah, there's a few. Ole Okunum was one of them. Uh, he was the captain at the time, and you know he was a player I really watched. How about how many people do you have come to the game tonight? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Probably between 50 and 100 ish. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so it'll be a it'll be a big chunk. <laughs> Talked to Chase Prisky a couple years ago about playing in this building, and it's not, you know, the Montreal's or it's, but is it special to be able to come out on this ice, a place you? pretty much grew up in yeah very special I think it's uh it's gonna be a really fun night um, not only for me and and you know us going against uh, one of the best teams in the league but um, for my family I think it'll be a really special moment all you guys kind of a Florida brotherhood down here with you know Chick uh, Frisky all those guys what was it like watching Chase make his debut here you know a couple weeks ago yeah it was awesome you know I've had a lot of conversations with him over the uh, the past couple of years just you know we turned pro at the same time and kind of went through the process all the same and um, yeah, it was really cool to uh, to see him, you know, make his debut, and uh, he did real well. And I'm sure he'll he'll be right back real we, soon. We we talk a lot about the Junior Panthers. What's it like now knowing that the Junior Panthers playing at you know incredible ice now the ice end can look at you, can look at Chase, can look at Chuck, and kind of see, you know, those guys were me, and do you like being that role model? Yeah, I think it's really cool, and you know, I, I look back at what I went through, and um, you know, the players that were coming up at the time when when I was younger, and. Um, you know, there was players out of Florida that were drafted on and uh, they didn't quite make it. But, you know, I remember sitting there saying, you know, they got drafted. Maybe I could, too, one day. So I was reading uh, Mike Russo's story talking about doing snow angels and stuff as a little kid. You still dig in the snow? Well, you're a Minnesota guy now. Uh, no, not as much. I, uh, I, can't <laughs> I, uh, I try to stay inside as much as I can and, you know, keep warm. And I, I was also reading you grew up in Parkland, Roberto Luongo in the neighborhood, Ole, right? I guess Vokun was in there yeah, too, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was that like just as a little kid seeing all these Panther players in the neighborhood? They weren't cutting their grass or anything. But. No, no, nothing like that. I was uh, I was fishing through their trash for broken sticks and stuff, so uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was pretty fun. Did you go see your uh, old barber last yesterday? Or I did, yeah. I had, uh, had to get my hair cut, touched up. Um, the one in Minnesota didn't quite do the job, so I had to uh, had to fix it up a little bit.